With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's solve this question. The question says a particle having a charge of 5 into 10 is per minus 7 coulomb is fixed in a vertical wall and a second particle having a mass of 100 gram uh, equal charge is suspended by a silk thread of length 30 cm from the same wall. The point of suspension is 30 cm of the particle A. To find the angle of the thread, we need to find the angle of the thread with the vertical when it is stays in equilibrium. Okay. So let us draw the figure first and then we can proceed to the question. So the what is the first figure that is saying is just see. Let us draw the figure first and then we will get the answer. So now just uh, have a look. This is the wall, suppose. Okay. Now according to question, what the question is saying that a particle is fixed here. Suppose I am fixing a particle point charge here and the distance it is given as this distance this distance has been given as 30 centimeter okay now again up again another uh, one of the particle charge is fixed from the same one and this distance is again going to be the same that is 30 centimeter so let me just uh, wipe it here so now we are going to have a 30 centimeter length uh, like suppose this one okay okay now the, this is also a point charge so it's a point charge this is point charge so there will be acting a tension here why because if this is a point charge suppose plus q charges here plus q charge point charge so it will act uh, it will uh, apply an electric field means electric force will be applied to this charge also the same charge is here that is q only huh? so what will happen it will apply again a force here so the electric force will be something in this direction isn't it so the electric force let's say it reads f e the electric force is applied here now what else the forces are acting one more force is acting that is mg so mg will be acting downward so this is the mg force acting here and uh, so this is the thing like suppose if it is making theta angle this angle is suppose theta then you know the angle of uh, some of the interior angles is uh, 180 degree so if this is 30 centimeter according to question saying that this length is also going to be 30 centimeter it is having same length so you see this angle is going to be 180 minus theta by 2 so it's going to be 90 minus theta by 2 and this angle is also going to be the same because these two sides are equal so this angle is going to be same now what else we need to do we need to find the angles it's very complicated but I will try to explain you very briefly. Don't worry. So you just see, suppose I'm making uh, a line that is going perpendicular to this. Let's say this is perpendicular. I have drawn this perpendicular. Okay. So what else we can see? And let us extend this line. Uh, okay. Let us extend the tension force line so it will be extended like this isn't it suppose it is extended this way so we can easily see that this is theta then this is also going to be theta isn't it very good now just see if this angle is 90 minus theta by 2 this whole angle is going to be 90 minus theta by 2 understood so but uh, this angle this is 90 degree then this also is 90 degree so this angle we are going to get as theta by 2 and this angle will be 90 minus theta. So let us write all these angles. So this angle we are going to get as theta by 2 and this angle 
since this total angle is going to be 90 minus theta by 2 understood okay so this angle we are going to get as 90 minus theta okay now since this is theta by 2 this angle is also going to be theta by 2 now you just see this whole angle what is this uh, since this is theta and this is 90 so this total angle this total angle is going to be 180 so we can say this is 90 minus theta by 2 so this angle we are going to get as 90 minus theta by 2 okay very good now one more thing i need to explain here what is that you just see we need to find see if this is the electric force between these two point charges i need to find this distance also now so let me draw a here suppose this one so suppose this one is going to be theta by 2 and this one is going to be theta by 2 okay so suppose if this is x this is x we can calculate from there so we can see from there means this is smaller triangle what is there sine theta by 2 we can write from here is this is x we are, i'm assuming it and uh, this is going to be the hypotenuse i have assumed it as 90 degree so it is going to be x upon 30 so the total length between f and uh, will be 2x total length between charges so total length is going to be 2x so that is going to be um, that is 2 into 30 sin theta by 2 so it's going to be 60 sin theta by 2 okay now let us apply a lamis theorem here so that we can find the angle so let us apply the lamis theorem what the Lamis theorem says? According to Lamis theorem, what is there? So T upon this total angle. And this total angle is going to be how much? It's sine 90 plus theta by 2 is equals to electric force that is Fe upon Fe is this one now. So the total angle will be this angle. So when we will calculate this is 90 minus theta by 2 then theta by 2 and 90 minus theta so it is going to be 180 minus theta so it will be sine of 180 minus theta is equals to mg upon the total angle this angle this angle is 90 plus theta by 2 so it is going to be sine 90 plus theta by 2 so upon calculating just see what we are going to get we are getting as sin 90 plus theta by 2 t sin 90 plus theta by 2 let's equate this and this one so this will be mg upon sin 90 plus theta by 2 so this we are getting cancelled out so from here we can calculate that t is equals to mg and when we will put mass mass is given as 100 gram and g is we are taking 10 so upon calculating we can find it's 100 upon 1000 into 10 that is equals to 1 newton so tension we are getting as 1 newton okay so the total tension force is total tension force we are getting as 1 newton this is the total tension force okay so the total tension force is 1 newton now let's calculate more further we are the final aim is to find the theta so again after equating what we will get you just see fe upon sin theta we can write it here t t is 1 upon sin 90 plus theta by 2 now from here you see we can write it as fe upon uh, half angle from half angle formula we can write 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 is equals to 1 upon cos theta by 2 so upon cancelling this what we will get from here we will get sine theta by 2 is equals to fe upon 2 this is 1 by 2 into fe so what is fe 
एफ एस के क्यू एन क्यू टू बाय आर स्क्वायर आर इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट चार्जेस यू सी आर इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट चार्जेस दैट वी हैव डन एस टू एक्स ओके सो नाउ लेट्स प्रोसीड सो दिस विल बी एफ वन बाय टू इनटू एफ एस के के इज नाइन इनटू टेन रेस्ट टू द पावर नाइन इनटू क्यू एन व्हाट आर द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू q1 was same na q1 and q2 it was it was 5 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 since it is same so it is a square upon r square so what was the distance it was 60 sin theta by 2 and it was in centimeter so it will be in meter we need to 10 raised to the power minus 2 square okay so upon calculating this finally what we are going to get is sin cube theta by 2 Is equals to one upon three hundred twenty, and from here we will get theta as seventeen degree. Very complicated, but uh, we have done. So you just see what is the final answer that we are going to get. This theta. We are going to find the vertical, uh, the angle of the thread with the vertical. So this theta is going to be how much? So theta is equals to seventeen degree. This is the answer. Hope you understand. Thank you for class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.